Firstly, uh, our constitutional rights and entitlement. Uh, we are not a race-based party. We are an indigenous-based party. And racism was brought by non-Māori. Remember that, by colonisers. So all I want to say is, <coughs> so all I want to say is, we are a rights-based indigenous party. Thank you very much. That's the first point. Second point is that we have a right and entitlement to self-management. Parky has taken it for right. The ACT Party will stand up for private property rights, but steal Māori water rights. That's true. That's true. Now, what we've got to do is say, no, no, don't dress it up. Uh, see, see, the ACT Party and the National Party says everybody owns the water. Labour says nobody owns the water. We say we own the water. <laughs> now, there's no doubt about that because no one in here, from a legal perspective, can challenge that. And see, that's your problem. Some of you don't like hearing the truth. And, it, and when our truth is spoken, you, you say we're racist and you, you make all these allegations. Go jump in the lake and thank you very much. The Māori Party is only, only needs or wants to appeal to Māori voters, people on the Māori roll. And it's battle, really. I mean, the party most likely to have attacked their candidate is the Labour Party. They are most threatened. That is the real battle in the Māori electorates between the Māori Party and the Labour Party. But... <clears throat> So really it is in the interest, because of this apartheid system we've created, it is in the interest of people like John Tamahiri not to seek out the angels of their better nature, but to become more and more extreme. And I am going to agree, actually, with Chris Hipkins, and I'm going to agree with James Shaw, and I'm going to agree with John Tamahiri. Yes, the race baiting... And the dog whistling in this election has been worse than ever before. And it has created division and hatred. The problem is, guys, it's all come from you.